FL Studio crashing is one of the greatest nightmares for a music producer. And to avoid this, it's always a wise choice to back up your files while you work so that you can always have something to go back to whenever FL Studio turns on you. To do this in FL Studio is actually very, very simple. Okay, all you need to do is you go over to the options and you can go over to the file settings. Now over on this file settings at the top, you can see we have backup and there are different options that we can select from. You can select never. Okay, it just reminds you every 10 minutes. So every 10 minutes, there'll be a reminder for you to um, save your files. And we have rarely every 15 minutes. Okay, we have occasionally every 10 minutes, regularly every five minutes. And we also have frequently every five minutes and before risky operations. So this is the one I selected because I don't want to be heartbroken, you know? And over on the right, as you can see, we have the maximum number of files that we can save. So you can go up to 999. And what this number is, is the number of files that can be in the folder. Okay. So if it reaches a certain number, it starts to delete the old ones to so just keep that maximum number. So it's just the number of files that can be in that particular backup folder. So mine is set to 100, but you can set it to whatever number you want to. And that is just that. That is all. That's all set and everything. So to access this backup files, okay, all you need to do is you need to go over to your browser right here. And you can see we have the backup folder right here. So you can just click on it and you can see all that you've recently just opened are right here. So to open them up, you can just go ahead and right click and you select open and it's open that file for you. That is just all.